What are the implications of binge drinking on muscle growth? So this was my dissertation. We're kind of in the publishing. I don't know if you've ever published, but it takes like forever and a half. But essentially, here's a little sneak peek of what we saw. So think about two groups, very dedicated women. One group is pretty much sober for the, for the past year. And the other group is partying at least once a week for the past year. And these are younger women. These are 18 to 30. Young people have a very large margin of errors. You're older, that margin of errors shrinks. You can't really get away with as much. You can't really recover as fast or burn as much fat. But with these women, we found very similar physical performance and very similar body composition. But we did find something drastically different that nobody on my committee predicted in terms of the metabolic health. And we found some stuff under the hood when we looked at the blood work and the blood parameters. When that study does come out, I think it's going to essentially send some ripples and maybe do a little cause for pause on, whoa, should I really be consuming alcohol in particular in a binge drinking fashion when you're generating all that oxidative stress? Because it's not really doing some good stuff for my metabolic health.